this is Winnie Anderson. I'm here with Georgianne Muchnock, president of Opticom Consulting, and we've been talking about various telecommunications issues. So, Georgianne, if a business is they're growing and they're looking at maybe upgrading their phone system, maybe they're looking at making a move to digital, mm -hmm. say, digital systems, there's all these acronyms and things that people are, you know, these, these buzz phrases mm -hmm. that people are using. How does a company know, like DIDs? What what is that? Should I be using that? What is it? Okay. Uh, well, typically a DID, if you're upgrading to a digital system, you're, you're moving to towards the PRI, you know, the circuit with, that carries the 23 channels. Um, so essentially, you've got 23, the possibility of 23 um, phone call, phone conversations mm -hmm. going on. Thinking of it, think of it in the the sense of 23 phone lines, one phone number, 23 phone lines. But you've got a company of 100 employees. You certainly don't want to have to pay for 23 or 100 phone lines. You know, not each one of them needs a phone line. So a DID stands for a direct inward down number. Essentially, it's like a virtual number that is given in blocks of 20, typically, um, that you can then assign to each one of your employees. Um, let's say, for instance, you've got maintenance workers. And they have a hand, you know, phone set on their desk, but they're not always on the phone. They just need to get called. So you assign a direct inward down number to them. When somebody needs to speak to them, they don't have to call through the receptionist. They go directly to, they, call, they dial that direct inward down number. They get directly to that person. Um, if you've got um, a, an executive who would like to have the capability for, uh, his or her family to be able to get hold of them, but not necessarily go through the front door, so to speak. They go through the back door by calling his direct, his or her direct inward down number directly. So therefore, again, not going through the receptionist, um, a fax line. You know, if we've got a fax machine that's not used heavily, so it's uh, you know used periodically. Mm -hmm. Like the finance department mm -hmm. might have their own private little uh, fax machine because they certainly don't want you know, everybody in the company seeing pr proprietary information, then you assign a direct inward down number directly to that fax. So it's a way to almost increase um, the number of phones that you have or phone numbers um, without actually buying a phone number. It's, it's just a direct inward down number that you assign through your phone system to the in individuals. Okay, great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And this has been Winnie Anderson with George Ann Mutznock, president of Opticom Consulting. And if you have been confused, frustrated, and uh, mystified by telecommunications, you want to head over to telecomdemystified.com and check out the video series that's, that Opticom has prepared for you. Thanks very much.